Hello, it's Haley from Native Backyards, and today I am going to show you how to ID any plant that you have growing in your yard, or if you're out in nature and want to know what a plant is, with the help of an app on your phone. And I like to use the iNaturalist app. It's an awesome app because not only does it help you identify things, it also contributes to citizen science. Because if you're out in nature and you spot something cool, it keeps a record of it, and perhaps you found a plant that had never been spotted in that area before. So it's, it's a neat way to keep track of the things growing around us. But it also uh, uses AI to help us um, really quickly identify uh, a particular plant. It's a really cool app and um, I'm gonna show you how I use it in my own yard. So right now I am actually standing behind my yard in kind of a green belt area that we have here in San Antonio, Texas. I'm lucky because it creates kind of a private backdrop behind our house. I see deer back here. Um, coyotes, skunks, you name it, and a lot of birds. And I've turned, you can see some of the area behind me, into my wildflower bed. And it's late summer here. It's um, actually, it's, it's in the middle of September. So things are kind of dying out, but it was a beautiful uh, summer wildflower bed, just full of butterflies and pollinators. And there's still some things coming up like goldenrod. But what I'm wanting to show you today with my uh, plant ID app is how to identify a tree. Because we have a tree back here that's been here since we moved into our house. I don't necessarily know if it was planted here uh, by previous owners or if it just ended up here. I do know what it is because I've ID'd it before and it's not necessarily a tree that you want to have. It's, it's considered an invasive, but I'm going to show you how I can figure that out using the iNaturalist app. So I'm going to try to um, turn around my camera here and we'll check it out. Okay, this is the tree here. You can see I hung a little wren's nest in there, hoping that some wrens would take residence. So far, I think it's just some wasps in there, but this is the tree that I want to ID for the longest time. I um, didn't know what it was, didn't really think much about it, but now that I've started learning more about plants, I'm very curious to know what exactly I have growing in my yard and it's whether or not it's something that I want to have growing. So I'm going to take photos of different parts of this tree so I can use them for the app. And when you're identifying a plant, you want to get a couple different views. You want to get an overall view. You want to get a photo of the leaves. That's a really important identifying um, marker. And then also any other things like blooms or in the, in the um, case of this tree, it's got berries, which at this time of year have turned dark. Um, they start out kind of a light yellowish green. So I'm going to take some photos and upload them to the iNaturalist app. Um, something else with trees, I think it's helpful to get the bark as well. So I'm gonna take a picture of that. Okay, so the iNaturalist app told me that what I have is a Chinese pistache tree. Um, unfortunately, it is invasive in Texas where I live, so it's one that I ultimately want to take down um, and put something uh, more beneficial uh, here in the behind our, our house, particularly because we are right next to this wooded area. I would hate for it to spread by birds that are eating the berries and depositing them elsewhere. So. What you know is uh, very helpful and empowering. So do the um, ID in your own yard, learn about the plants you have and see what you find out. Hope this was helpful.